That shit's funny. got 11 million views. I saw that. This is what Brie looks like in uh, Dive Bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, touching the cheddar. Two weeks and two days, nicotine free. Are you? Congratulations. Yep. Ooh. Must suck. Me. Don't do it. Me, dog. Don't do it. Bro. Don't what? Don't make me hit you with it this early, bro. What? Fucking asked, dog. Golly. What? Fucking asked. That's my response to to who? Asked. Yes, who fucking asked? <laughs> yes. I saw you hitting it. I know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm na- I'm minutes. I'm he just was, saying, notice he, me, senpai. He needed a, a pat on the back. <laughs> hey, I did. Are you drinking coffee? I just want y'all to know that I'm fiending over here while y'all are caffeine. Getting just hit it one time. Doesn't. Close your eyes if you do it and it doesn't count. <laughs> You don't know what somebody's there's so many mouth. there's so many times where i was like oh, i could just hit it once and then i like snap into it. i'm like no it's not worth it he actually so did it last why week. are you quitting i don't know i can't tell you a bad thing that it does to my life but i just feel like i don't want to rely on it oh i love it it makes my head hurt sometimes i feel like it makes my head hurt sometimes when i'm like sure. super yeah, hungover like and i hit seconds, it i'm like right? mm-hmm. i want to fucking yak yeah, so it's like awful. i don't need to do this anymore it's but then awful. i'm like fuck i'm hungover i would like to hit it yeah when you're drunk, hell yeah, yeah, it gives you a buzz. It's oh, the bomb. Yeah. It's what you want for sure. Yeah, shit. but it was you're to the idiot. point. Don't start it. <laughs> it was to the point. <laughs> it was to the point where it doesn't feel like anything because I do it 24 seven. So it I don't even feel, feel like the buzz. After you I mean, it's definitely not forever. attractive. Yep. It's definitely not attractive when like I like look at pictures and look at myself and I'm like, yeah, like I look so cool. Like it's not cool, but yeah, I'm like fuck you. I don't care. <sighs> I think there's levels, you know, if you just like hard on the not vaping, not that cool. If you got a fucking cloud blower, a fucking, <laughs> a fog maker, <laughs> bro, get out of here, bro. Dude, they do that shit going down the, like if you're at a red light and it looks like your fucking car's on fire because you're smoking it out, I'm like, that that's fucking douche McGee. People do that while they're driving down the road too, you know they can't see in front of them. Yeah. Uh-uh. Like, it's fucking dangerous. Hey, look at my oh, cloud of smoke. Yeah, yeah. I literally the can the tall one, and you take yes. it apart into twenty different things. Yes. Call that it's a girth, a girth, a girthy vape. <laughs> the girthy <laughs> vape. Hey, I got the girth on your vape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Give us another one. Give us another one. All my friends, literally, I have a thread from like the girls that I'm in, like. One of my friends like, I'm done smoking. And another one was like, yeah, me too. Like, it's just not okay. And then another girl was like, yeah. So I went to opening day. I had like four vapes on me, okay? Four. And because I'm like, I know these bitches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because she knew that they because were going to Because I ask. knew that oh. they were going to fucking steal them. And guess how many I ended up with? When I woke up the next morning, one. One. zero couldn't find it. You know why? Because one of my fucking friends came in my room and took it. And I'm like, where the hell is it? I'm tearing my bed apart. I'm like sheets everywhere. My bed. I'm under the like bed trying to find. It. I'm like, where the hell is it? And I walk downstairs to get water and I see it sitting on the counter with another one. And I'm like, this bitch. I'm like, she literally just said like, yeah, but I'm like, don't make me feel bad for smoking. And then all of y'all fucking do it when y'all are stressed or y'all are drunk. I'm like, get fucked. Yeah, if you do it when you're stressed, bro. God, I'm fucking stressed. Throw me that vape, <laughs> oh, bro. You need to lay off. I think stress. You should I, smoke weed, right? Yeah, for sure. Fucking something. I think this. I think that's why I did it. Like when I was stressing, it like kind of soothed me. You're always stressing. It seems. <laughs> I don't feel like you're gonna stress. This, this motherfucker stresses. Me. Like I can look at him. Like you stressed out? Yeah, I had to wake yeah. up this morning. <laughs> My fucker stresses about everything. He's twenty fucking four or five years old. He's stressing about life. Talking about uh, <laughs> production though, there's something I want to show you. Go to the uh, the podcast email and pull up that that link I just sent to it. I meant to show you this earlier, Tristan. So this is a, uh, I think this kid's like fourteen or something like that. But he plays video games yep. for fucking live streaming. But every time he gets a kill, he fucking hosts a rave, right? <laughs> and I laughed my ass off at this. This is like. This is high level production here, bro. Well, like, yeah, the podcast one, and then just pull up the email. Have you heard uh, why he's doing that? Have, talking about stress. Have you heard, like, somebody? I can't remember where I read this. That it said the st- 
kids, even kids stress levels these days and adult stress levels, if it was the same back in the 60s, you'd be in like the nut house. Yeah. Wow. Yo, that's, well, I think it's that's how stressful 2022 is. Life is stressful. Holy With food, it's well, drugs, it's volume, hormones, right? a lot of stuff. Like my parents, like Technology hadn't helped out either. Huh? I get annoyed when my parents or like older generations are all like, try to compare. Like, yes, I'm like, it's totally different. Literally. I'm like, we're under so much more stress. Social media adds to that, like everything. And then also with like, I hate hearing like, why you don't need Botox, like you're so young. And I'm like, there's so much more added stressors in the environment and on us than there were back then. Back like, then, yeah. I'm going to combat my wrinkles now. I definitely, <laughs> yeah. I definitely think what you eat like is a huge portion of well, exercising well, every, every, not you everybody eats yeah. Yeah. like that shit right there eating that shit every day you will be more stressed than if you ate i right believe that but sure. i mean like technology is is bad for stress hell yeah well, everyone's looking at their computers their phones everyone's on social media all day yeah. long comparing themselves i mean I'm, i feel like even guys compare themselves like they sure they do it. so it's just kind of like i feel like it's just annoying to hear like it's the same thing like with Joey. We we had a we had a uh, on the burn barrel earlier. Joey was talking about everybody wants to be themselves, and I I'm like, no, everybody's trying to be somebody else. I just think the hard. I think what he's saying is the hardest thing to be is yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the most difficult thing to be is yourself. For yeah, sure. it's, yeah. Oh, it's hard. That's huge because literally I'm myself, and people are like, you're too detailed, or you're too honest, Fuck or em. you're too like upfront with people, and I'm like, that's just who I am. Like either, you, but like. My friends that they're like, well, we know you, but like, it's awkward for us. Like when we're around you and like, you just come right out the gate and like kill somebody with your words. And we're like, I swear she's nice. I swear she has a heart. I'm like, (laughs) but I don't need y'all to like stick up for me. Cause if like, I don't know them, like, I just don't really care about them. So why would I? They don't see you like, I mean, you don't want to fake who you are. Right. Dude, you're definitely my type of friend. I don't give a fuck how much I, sure. like you give you give me hell. I, I doesn't I don't fucking flinch a bit cuz I do the same thing to people as you do. But, you know, it's like when we when I when we went to the Braves game, when I met when we were going out the first time and you came to the Braves game with her, yeah. she was hammer time. And when I got there, oh she God. started humping my <laughs> leg and all of her all of her friends were like, Who the fuck is that? You just did that normally. And I'm laughing my ass off. But all her friends was like, Do you know that fucking guy? And she's like, She would do it to some rando and I'm like, I'm sure I would, she would. That's the thing though, is like I'm just like out there. So like either you love me for me or you don't. <laughs> But people are like, you're just too much sometimes. I'm like, okay, well then, like, how are y'all my friends? Because, like, y'all didn't, I even had this. Right. So I had this conversation with my family the other day. Like, my mom and dad, I went out to dinner with them and I was like talking to them about it. And they were like, they just said that I'm like too honest, I'm too blunt, like this and this and this. And my parents go, haven't you been friends with them for like eight or 10 years? And I'm like, yeah. And they were like, so they didn't get that like back then. And I was like, (laughs) I don't know. But, like, people at my bar, same thing. Do you think thing. you're more brash, though, now? I bet you are. I mean, like, I'm trying to, like, a little bit, like, like I guess. You're single, and you're, like, kind of, I'm sure, like, you're more independent and just kind of, like, not right. to act how you want to act because you're not having to, like. So I feel like when you're in a relationship, you definitely, like, kind of look for that, look for that person's, like, validation or reassurance. Sure. Yeah. Should I do this or should I say that? Or... Well, even, like, I was, when I'm bartending, like, I'll, like, random guy sitting here but let's say jay and bailey come in and sit next to him i don't go up to this random guy and i'm like what's up you piece of shit no <laughs> like i'm like hi like what can i get for you like oh beer yep sure got it like da 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 and then i'll you like, don't make look. fun of them because they're beer the first time right. you see them and then i like look at them and i'm like what's up fuckers like what do yeah. y'all want i, I feel and like then, i've never brought anybody to fucking old town that you don't know Every time I'm like, hey, this is Bree. She does our podcast. Bree's like, what's up, motherfucker? It's good yeah. to see you. I've known you forever. So, like, okay. so I have one of my, one of my, fr- actually, actually, his uncle, one of my friends uh, over at my house, we were drinking beer like two Saturdays ago. And he said, he goes, he goes, man, we, we're on this uh, text thread. You're not on this one. He goes, but we were talking, he was telling me some story. And uh, he goes, we only put you on some text thread. And I go, and I said, well, Fifteen percent of me that hurts my feelings. Eighty five percent of me thanks you yeah. because because I hate fucking mass text. I can't yeah. stand them because like, ding ding ding. They don't fucking work all day, so they're just fucking damn doing this. So I'll send fucked up messages to get to get them to kick me off. And so he's like, the only time we send you, the only the only time we send you in group messages, and if like we're going on a trip, and I'm like, thanks, man. But like I was on one the other day with the all the golfers, and I was like. uh Oh man, I can't wait to show you this. Like, I, I want to be off of this, please. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll be going a lot. My bank account already took a hit after this weekend. Because I went Thursday and I went Sunday. And Sunday wasn't supposed to be like a shit show day. No, it was. I was in Buckhead till 11. I'm like, this is awesome. And then I walk <laughs> out. Then I walk out and the door guy like looks at me. Like I'll send those types of shits and screenshot them. And they're like, Gr- gross. They're like, gross. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, get me off of here. Um, I like... Like, I'll send the most <laughs> stupid, nasty stuff. They're like, oh, who is? Especially if they don't know me, because I'll have like they'll be like half of them. They'll just be numbers, and numbers, they don't know yeah. me. And I'm like, and I'll send there. It's like, whoever sent that, kick him off. I'm like, yeah, kick him off. <laughs> and I'm like, I just sent it because it looks like you to some rando. I'm like, this looks like you. I'm like, fuck you. When I went to go leave the bar the other night, the door guy like looked at me, and you could tell he was like young. And he was like, how was it? And I was like, fun. I said, it's awesome being 30 years old in Buckhead on a Sunday at yeah. 11. That's exactly where you want to be. I'm like, God. I'm like, I feel like a loser. Because why? Bring us the little five over there. The uh, You think you're too old for Bucket? Five paces. Yes. Yeah. I'm definitely too old for Bucket. I love 30 bar. Yes, that's the older crowd. Yes. Love 30. But that's not open on Sundays. And we went to a th- place called Misfits. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it was so that's much m- fun. Like, that's me. <laughs> yeah. The last, like. And uh, stagecoach. Yeah, so there used to be yeah. so right there on the first of like Peachtree and Roswell Road right there. You're talking about that's a younger crowd. You go to the right there, but the the like, mi- the middle the middle one where like I think Churchill's was used to be there. Yeah, so that's an older crowd though, right? So there's like it's like a square. So yeah, anymore, there's like really. is it not an older crowd now? Churchill's Lost Dog, all that and like um, and Dive Bar, Red Martini, like Dive Bar where I used to hang out. Outside yeah. Dive bar. yeah, yeah, Dive Bar and Buckhead Saloon used to be my shit when I was like yeah, eighteen yeah, or nineteen sure. I loved them too. in 2021. But like those are my shit, <laughs> yeah. But like if you catch me in dive bar, like make sure like you call the police and get me fucking out. I, li- like, I, I live like is, a half a mile from there. That's for scary. Years. But like on Saturday nights or like if we're going out after the battery or something, like we'll hit up thirty because thirty is like an older crowd. They're more expensive drinks, so that way like you can definitely pick out the people. Yeah. But I think all this shit's fun because I go so sparingly. I got, but see, at twenty at twenty five, you can get away with older or younger. Yeah, crowd. yeah that's true. Yeah, but not, and also not <laughs> when you I want you look like. Yeah, you can't you get away with that. If you had a vape, it'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> you like older dudes. Yeah. See, I like the younger but ones. You only, so it's right up my alley. But you, but you'll do the younger dudes. But you, but you only date older dudes. What's older to you? Ten years older than you? Five years older like, than you? Older as in I would date them. Yeah. You're 25, so you want somebody five to seven years older than you. Okay. What about you? I always go for the young ones. I don't know what oh, my that's problem right. you're is. Oh, that's right. You're young, dude. <laughs> All the vapors. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, I know that you're supposed to... <laughs> you can't hook up with Tristan, no. He's not a vapor anymore. <laughs> you're supposed to go out with... Sorry, like, Tristan. The guys that are older always go for the young girls. So that's why, like, I'm really supposed to date older than me. But right now, like, my pond is already so... It's not even a pond. It's like a puddle. So, <laughs> like, finding somebody tall enough, finding somebody that doesn't already have kids would be ideal. Finding somebody that doesn't have hella baggage, already married, divorced, all that kids. bullshit. Kids, all that shit. Like, it's literally, like, smaller and smaller and smaller. Of course. So then if I get a young one, <laughs> they're in their prime, baby. Like, how could you? I'll be the cougar. <laughs> Well, all the hormones will mold the, you into all the, all the a hormone, fine, upstanding young man. All the hormones, all the hormones, and all the food you, you're going to get taller, bigger dudes. So that's good for that's you. True. Yeah. Just like like old Matthew McConaughey. But then, good thing when about you think about school, it, if I get older and the girls stay, stay the same, same age. age, if the guys cheat, or if you ever see like older men, they're always with these like young hot girls. So they're like, if you go for the older men, then you'll be their young girl girl that they like go to. I'm like true, but I'm like I don't know if I want to like. An old man. But then again, I don't want to date a kid that works at fucking McDonald's. <laughs> like, there is no fucking way. I was going to say, if it's kind of happened, hard to find the beards you I, like. There's no that way I would, I would yeah. date a 25 year old. Because I feel like you want like a beard, tall, manly man. And that, I mean, guys I do. Who no like, wants a 23 year old lumberjack? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, like, people like are like, I see girls like on TikTok. That literally look like they're 28, 29, and they're 19. I'm like, holy shit. It's just terrifying. 
<laughs> yes, it is. I'm, same thing with guys, though. Like, there's this one guy I like saw on TikTok, and I was like, "Damn, he's fine." And, like, click on his thing, and it was like, "22 college baseball." I'm like, "Awesome, <laughs> kill me." You should hook up with him. <laughs> kill me, but also like younger guys don't want to like settle down right now. I'm not saying I like would like to settle down tomorrow, but like maybe I do want a future some days. Maybe some days I don't. That worked out. God damn. Yeah. Some days I do, some days I don't. But I'm like, kids that are like 25, 26, they're not ready to like get married and have kids. And then I'm like, well, some are because be. some did in high school and they're all fucking great. Are they? I don't know. That's what They'll social get a media divorce, portrays. You can marry them later. Yeah. <laughs> Play this thing. What is it? What oh, is yeah. it? This is. We got to do some shit like this for the podcast. <clears throat> Every time Bree talks about her ideal man, yeah. we do some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> To a science. So it's every time he kills somebody, he yeah. does this? He'll stop in the middle of the game. He'll literally stop in the middle of the game. Then he just gets back on and plays. Oh yeah, yeah. And if he gets another one, he just immediately goes right back to it. That shit's got funny. eleven million views. I saw that. This is what Bree looks like in uh, dive bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what I look like on Thursday opening day. I ended up leaving my debit card at the chop house, but luckily I knew all the bartenders. These three girls like wanted to kill me because I just like I didn't stand in line at the chop house. I just like went straight up to the bar because I knew the bartender. So I'd be like blank like can i get a drink and he's like yeah here you go like and then i was like three shots and then he's like here you go and then i turn around these girls are like are you the girl that keeps cutting us and i was like "Mm mm-hmm and i was like i want to say cutting like i'm not like cutting the line like i'm I'm just not, not even, even waiting. A, yeah, I'm like, not even observing the line. <laughs> yeah. like, that doesn't I'm gonna apply be to like, me. where's the line? Yeah. What you, line? Yeah. Yeah, your first mistake, getting in line. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed the line. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, I felt bad. So Don't I bought him. Fuck sh- with me or I'll make fun of you forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I was nice. Because I was like trying to be a nicer person here. And it was like these three girls, Fell. and I was like, I was like, here, I bought y'all shots, like, for cutting the line. I was like, but the bartender is my boyfriend. I'm just, like, saying that. And she's like, we don't need your shots. We don't want your shots. I was like, all right, bet. Took the shot, and I was like, walked off. I was like, sorry, I'm not a peasant. And, yeah. like, just kept walking. A peasant. I would have played that so dear. I would be like, the hey, peasants. what's that guy's name? <laughs> I'm not standing in line anymore, either. This person's got it figured out. There's something to learn. <laughs> That's awesome. And was, literally. Uh, hey, paint a target on my yes. back. And then when I walked in Sunday, saw the bartenders again, clearly wasn't as busy as it was Thursday. And I was like, and the bartenders look at me and they're like, Jesus, we're going to have to start cutting you off. And I was like, I mean, please do, but please don't. Like, y'all should know my limit. So. You know, the last, uh, the last like three times I've left my credit card, I literally call my credit card and say, send me one and I'll just leave it there. Not me. I do it all the time. I, I did it in Alpharetta. Remember, I left it in Alpharetta. Well, I was I like, fuck that. I'm a- no. Depends on the credit card. I mean, you can also... No. Mine gets to be the next, the next day. day. Mine's LGE, so I could literally just walk in and have a new one made, but it's just yeah. such a bitch because I have to go through all my apps, all my Apple shit, and like yeah. change the number. It wouldn't be debit. I couldn't, I couldn't get a debit card the next day. Every time I lose these, these mine... Are credit, these are Amex. I don't yeah. use Capital my Ones, card. and I spend too much money on They send it to me I don't use my credit card. Every time I do that shit, I always try to go as long as I can without adding my card to all my shit that yeah. I already pay for. But that's like I'm gonna just delay this like fifteen dollars a month. And then like I'm thinking that it's like hooked up to my bank account, so like the gym or other places will be like, You haven't paid, so yeah, three months worth that. of money now is coming out of your account and I'm like, son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you go through your whole credit card and like figure out like yeah. I don't keep up with my subscriptions all the time. Right. Like, Shit's hard. Same. I had like I'll even app. go through I'm like, Jesus. I, know. I had to download an app to tell me everything that I was fucking paying some monthly amount of money for. Hmm. Yeah, I pay like three dollars a month for an app that saves me like fifty dollars a month for sure. It's pretty my, cool. I felt my bartender ended up texting like one of my buddies that is always there at the chop house with me, and then my buddy texted me. He's like, "I'll bring it to you Friday," because I lost it on Thursday, and I was like, "I mean, I don't need it." Luckily, with an iPhone, I have it set up in my wallet, so I could just tap my phone on anything. And I realized that Thursday when I was going through the Taco Bell drive with Uber. I looked at my Uber driver. I was like, shit. I know my debit card. 
I was like, if my phone does not work, can you please pay for my Taco Bell? <laughs> then I'll just Venmo you. <laughs> Did he? It works. It, like, my phone works. That's awesome. And I was like, we, as soon as we get up to the drive through line, I was like, I bet you they're going to be closing. They're not going to take my order. And literally, as soon as we get up there, I was like, can I have a... And he was like, we're only doing delivery now, like Uber Eats and stuff. And I was like, please, God, give me a Crunchwrap Supreme. I'll do anything for a Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> What if you said that and all you heard was zip? Uh, that, <laughs> that's not probably. You go around the wrong Taco Bell and that's what you're going to hear for sure. There's a, uh, a the um, the Crystal in Dallas uh, when we were like right out of high school. They didn't take Amex and one of, my, one of my friends had an Amex. And we would go through there every time and he'd give them the Amex. And they, the people didn't know they didn't take the Amex. So they would sw- swipe it like four or five times. And then like, our credit card machine's not working here. Just take the food. We did it. <laughs> Dozens and dozens of times before they caught before That's they awesome. caught on. We get so goddamn high and get like three bags of crystals go there. They'd zip that shit, it wouldn't work. <laughs> so right. awesome. Uh his Do birthday it. today, Josh Wiggly's birthday today. That was Happy him. Birthday, Josh Wiggly. Yeah. Who? Josh Wiggly. Happy birthday. Uh one of my friends. Yeah, he probably oh. don't know him. He He's the one that had the Amex. He put uh on his Amex, this was when he was like twenty two, was probably twenty one. He put uh, Dr. Josh Wiggly on his Amex. He got him to do that. So every time he went to a bar, people would call him doctor and shit. It's <laughs> actually smart. Pimp. <laughs> All right. I think if you use your AirPods, and me and Bree use these, and uh-huh. we get Maddie to ask us the questions, I think all of us can play. All right. Wait, what? All right. Let's, do it. Let's fucking do it. What are we playing? We're playing the headphone game. Okay, so our three hosts are all putting headphones on. And making the music as loud as possible so that they can't hear what our social media guru Madison is saying in the corner. But they're going to try to read her lips and answer the questions. I cannot hear a damn thing. (laughs) All right. Tell me when. Play the music. (laughs) Are we playing? Yes, we're back. We're starting now. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you could have dinner with a famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? Something. What would I be? Alan Jackson. Good bird. If you could have dinner with a famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? Wednesday. <laughs> a bird. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite beer? Uh, John Grisham. What? I like, Say it again. What is your favorite beer? Heineken. Beer. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Yellow. Blue. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. When did you lose your virginity? Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. It looked like you just said, what's our favorite cheese? Just answer. When did you lose your virginity? Catch up. What's the trivia challenge? <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. All right. Um, what's your dream job? Ooh, dream job. Um, mine would probably be like a bronco. <laughs> you're being a. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You gotta. You gotta. I just paused it for a minute. She's. She's. You can't. You gotta put your radio on the left. What? What? Did you know? Did, did you know what she said? Yes, I just. I How? know. Did you read lips? I read lips Jesus for a living. Christ, good for you. God damn. Did she I answer? Right? For a second, and she's like, I would I be a CEO. Question, I'd answered, be a badass like, businesswoman. I understand it all. I'm trying. Are we ready? Yeah. Well, no, because my song just started over. So hold on. Anyways, I'd be a CEO. That's my dream job. <laughs> Run my own shit. <laughs> and make a lot of money and travel the world. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? 
If I had to think about myself, I'm funny. Like Do it again. Tattoos. <laughs> you, could, you could change one thing about yourself. Oh, you I'm not changing that. I'm fucking funny. I'm not changing that shit. You said if you could change one thing about yourself, what would you change? Basketball. Um, if I had to change one thing about myself, I really don't know. I love myself. Okay. What is the best flavor of wings? Uh, lemon pepper. <laughs> one more. <the> fuck? <laughs> I read lips for a living, motherfucker. What? <laughs> That's true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, my, my music restarted. Go again. What is the best flavor of wings? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah. I said lemon pepper. Yeah. Okay. Yes is the answer to your question. To your last question. Um, what was your first dog's name? <laughs> Max. Job site? <laughs> Max, what was your first dog's name? How, your music is a lot I, I, It is as loud as possible. Elephant? Some house. Landscaping. <laughs> I'll choose another song. Hold on. I'll do the, I'll do the baby where it's like a louder beat. Do we quit? But I'm really just yes. reading her lips. I can't. I know that's impressive. It's super impressive. Bree can read all of them. She, she got most of them. Jesus Christ, that's that impressive. <laughs> Damn, my music was loud. Mine was too. Oh, the old headphone game. I think we're going to do the headphone game out there at the studio in Rome with, uh, with a bunch of people, Tristan. I'll run you my, my idea later. All it's right. a pretty fucking solid one, though. <clears throat> oh, well, that was my contribution for the day. Why is all the money here? Because we needed it. What are we buying with Flex it? On people. Coke? I don't care what we buy with it, really. Let's, uh, it's just free, free money. We can manifest our first sponsor right here. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's manifest That's it. how much money that you can make if your sign was right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how much money you can make. Show your camera, Jay. Huh? Show your camera how much money we got there. A lot. A hundred thou wow. Well. Thou wow. hundred thou wow. Well. Making it rain on your business if you put your sign right there. <laughs> Making it rain on your business. I actually like jalapeno wings too. That was out of nowhere. What, bro? <laughs> That's fucking He's disgusting, bro. <laughs> jalapeno wings would be good. Ha jalapenos is so good. I don't know, bro. I've never seen that flavor anywhere. Well, Buffalo, come to bro. Old Town then. I like jalapeno and pizza even. <clears throat> Yum. Jalapeno and pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's like Criminals, a very big bro. thing in this world if pineapples belong on pizza. I like Hawaiian pizza. Though, I'm so. not a big pineapple pizza person. Me either. That's Chef uh, Special Wings at, at Old Town. What's that called? So good, Chef. Yeah, it's medium Chef? lemon pepper mm. and ranch. Yeah, I never Boy, my mouth good. is watering. I'm like hungry now. I like the lemon, ta the lemon taki. They're right. Lemon yaki. yaki. Yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was working there, a guy asked me what my favorite bread. <laughs> what my favorite appetizer was, and I think I thought he was talking for himself. So I was like, oh, the garlic knots are really popular. He ordered them to go and then left them, and then wrote a little note. Was like, oh, he like, got it for you. Yeah. yeah. That's literally... What a nice guy. That's literally old town. And then you didn't eat them? You just threw them away? I don't remember. No, she left and went and went on a date with him. Splurged. No I way that gets you a date. Like, Food gets you dates? I get offered by this one on guy... On a date? By this one guy every single Sunday that he works. Like, I work every other Sunday morning. But every time he comes in, he orders a martini. And he has, like, three. And he gets a water. Then he gets lunch. Then he's like, have you eaten? Because I'll buy your lunch today. I'm like, bitch, I get a manager meal, but thank you. And I just ordered... ate, and I was, I'm hung over, and I just ate four tacos from Taco <laughs> Bell. Y'all ever ordered Uber Eats or DoorDash or fell asleep while it was on the way there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I did that with McDonald's one time. I was on the way home. I was and so it just sits drunk. At your door? Literally, my roommate had to text me, and she's like, can you please go get the McDonald's off our front door? Like, we look like white trash. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> it's happened to me a few times. I was like, yeah. A few I haven't, drunken I haven't times. used Uber Eats and DoorDash that much. I literally just I used would, it yesterday. I would rather... Well, you live out this way. We, or I, I 
Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it. I, I would rather order from places that already deliver because it's faster and the foods. I, I've ordered it to this office before, but it seems like it's fucking cold every time it gets here. Oh my god, Jersey I feel Mike's like it's more expensive. I, I don't know Definitely. what, but like I've probably it's spent about three hundred dollars in Jersey Mike's in the last two weeks because I don't know why. I'm just so obsessed. That sub is so fucking good. Fucking sandwich. I'm Jersey Mike's are good. Oh, yeah. Turkey and provolone, banana peppers. Jimmy John's is good too, though. It is really good. Mm. I can do Mexican, but then I know I'm, myself I'm going to have a margarita when I'm hungover. Mm. I'm just, like, doesn't help There's nothing balance. better than a really good Bloody Mary or margarita when you're hungover. Yeah, or queso and tortillas from Papacitos. Queso and tortillas. <laughs> queso and tortillas. <laughs> from Papacitos, that shit goes Papas- oh. Papacitos is fucking that great. Or on the borders queso with their warm tortillas. Mm. Al- Allison got a job uh, over... Right there uh, by the battery, and she goes to Papacitos all the time now. I haven't eaten that on the border. But I love it. Yes. And it's like almost like a TGI Fridays or like a You talking about the one on Barrett Parkway? Mm hmm. The one right there by Costco? I'm talking about the one in Smyrna. Oh, the border. You're talking about the border. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of their like food or whatever. My friends used to be. And then we go to Papacitos mostly. And then we went to Seal Blue the other day, and it was. Horrible, horrible. You be spending a hell of money on food, don't you? Yeah, but also like I work like last week I only worked Monday and Friday, and then this week I'm working Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. So most of the time I'm at work and then I eat, and then also I sleep in till like twelve. So it's not like I wake up and eat a nice little breakfast and move on with life. Then I see Maddie's fucking Instagram story, and she's like, "A yeah. morning routine I had a granola with me. bar and a yogurt." She's like, "Here's my smoothie bowl that I made, and I." <laughs> And I use this smoothie mix that's vegan, and yeah. it's this. And I picked Shut the strawberries. Out, Maddie, fitness, yeah. Now I'm about to go I work picked, out. I picked out my strawberries from my farm today, and <laughs> they're so fresh. And then I went horseback riding. These are my horses and my dogs. That's probably why she's a lot nicer than yeah. Bree. What is uh? <laughs> what is like, the? Uh, I just drank my whole gallon of water, and I'm like yeah. literally watching it with one yeah. eye open as I'm like Bree drinks. Up and then Bree's like that. Yeah. What's that girl yeah. from? Uh, the, have you? Ever, did you ever see that show? The wonderful. <laughs> Whites of West Virginia or whatever, uh, the world of you yeah, know, I know, you know what, what you're talking, talking about because sure. it was you know they're all pilled out, but they were going after she had her baby. They took her baby away, and uh, because she was on drugs, and they took her baby away right when she had it. And they were driving through a Taco Bell uh, drive-through, and she was like, "They took her baby away on the, yeah, on the phone." Uh, and then that girl's like, about. "I want a quesadilla, <laughs> a quesadilla." And the lady was like, "Ma'am, we don't have quesadillas because." They took her baby away. I saw that. And she, was, <laughs> she kept going, I want a quesadilla. <laughs> we don't have quesadillas. Speaking of quesadillas, I literally just ate. I was at the Misfits in Buckhead, and they have this really good taco truck in the back. Oh, bro. That and shit is crazy so good. good. But I hate corn tortillas. Me too. If you give me corn tortillas, I want to punch you in the face. They literally taste like cardboard. I, I like both of them. Though. I'm like, give me flour. I don't give a fuck. That taco give me all the gluten. But that's what's, that's what's great about Papacitos is because oh. those fucking tortillas they make and press right there are oh. so good. Here's what so sucks good. about Papacitos. They're shrimp because they got new shrimp makers or something. They, they used took, to be big and juicy. They and took away disgusting. the yellow queso and it was so fucking good. Yeah. It was better than the white queso. That's the why the or- that's why on the border has the best yellow yeah, queso. They do. they do. But Papacitos was better. What is just because uh, they're the only this? contender left. Yep. What? What's Misfits? It's right next to Stagecoach. It's right next to Stagecoach. Is it new? No. Nah. Kind of. Not really. Like, but I guess it's like it's the a Sunday. couple years old. But it's you either go to Big Sky on Sunday or you go to Misfits on Sunday, and we parked across the street from yeah, Big Sky. Mm-hmm. Me, either, me either until I went out to Buckhead a couple weeks ago on a Thursday it's night fun and I went fun. there and it was dead but then Sunday was fun as hell yeah so we just literally bullshitted for an hour mm-hmm. 40 minutes I have one <clears throat> I heard a debate earlier ooh I love um, debates <laughs> so debate. quesadilla do you think me and Bailey are gonna agree or disagree on this whatever you're about to ask I'm actually interested because I really don't know so should should the man pay for the first date yes yes so then he, you should let him have sex with you whenever you want what <laughs> let's unpack this one piece. whenever he wants <laughs> whenever he wants yeah what about if i want whenever it whenever he wants for the first time or in yeah for the first time so like if i pay so if i you're pay, saying that his time is worth less than your time if i pay for a meal because he's paying for your time I, you're saying if i pay for a meal 
then I get to have sex because I pay for the meal. If you want to. God damn. I'll be a fat motherfucker. And that's the, he's not paying for my time. He's the one that asked me on the date. So <laughs> I might have completely butchered this to I think you did. Because <laughs> I don't remember. It was so, it just seemed very uh I'd be like, toxic, hey, you hungry? So if that was just, I'd like, like, like <laughs> hey, you hungry? Yeah. I did see this TikTok the other day. It was like this guy, he, I think he was a preacher, but he was like, girl, start saying yes to dates. And I'm like, that is true. Like, I mean, because girls are always like talking about like, guys don't ever want to date anymore. Like, they don't, they aren't about, oh shit. They aren't about dating anymore. Like, it's all like, just like hang out or hookups or sh- something like that. And he's like, so that's, and most of the girls always say no to going on a date. Who, when you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not first date. I know. I mean, that's what I told them. You know, I'm sorry. But I say, you da- I'm dating. We're dating. You but here's the, the gentleman here. She was here okay. Really, yeah, he's supposed pay. to pay. Yeah. That's you're what su- I told uh, but you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. Whenever Walt what's wanted, where, right? where, where, but what's the, where does this double standard come from? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it's the reality. You guys can, you can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, "You have to fucking pay for my time," you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, yeah, Christian, you so you bad. should pay for it. <laughs> this is much more endearing. I wonder what paradigm <laughs> the that sets helps. up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, Straight women, yeah. you weren't taught right. Damn. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. <laughs> I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most oh, polite I'm they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, what does that say about my future? But I, I look, I, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would, I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go... I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. <laughs> I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. No and care. maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is. You right? definitely got to fuck him then. Or if you both agree to go on holiday and you have a fifth of his earning holiday. potential, you say, I want to contribute to vacation. this holiday. It's overly Thank simplistic, you, but you get what I'm saying, right? I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something contribute. to a guy. Try it. <laughs> That's that means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's when he feels used. Because any guy who's really confident and self-respecting, if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. And it has nothing to do it with money. His own face. It you has like to him? do with the lack of gesture. So I would be looking at, if you like this guy... Maybe if you're in different positions, figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute proportionately <coughs> and treat him as you would your best friend. Good advice, buddy. All right. What do you think? We'll I love it. I mean, I do get it, but also it also emasculates a man. Like if a girl like tries to pay on the first date, like a, usually the man's always like, it's like a man thing. Like I'm taking you out on a date. Like I want to pay. And but that's so, good. That's polite. Right. Like you said, like, at least if you offered to pay half. There's no way. I do contribute. I've never let a girl pay on the first day. There's no fucking way. Everyone's saying contribute now. I know I see you, but I can't tell if she is. There's no fucking way I would let a girl pay on the first date. No way. Me and my ex, like when we first started dating, he would always pay like in the beginning. And then clearly once we got more into it, like I'd pay or he'd pay for the dinner and then I'd leave tip because I always had cash on me. Or sometimes I would treat him. But also I 
contributed a lot. Like every time I went to the mall, I brought him home a new pair of Nikes because I'm like, I just went shopping and have all these bags and like, I'm not going to go home. He can have a meal as a treat every (laughs) now and then. (laughs) (laughs) Here, come here. And that guy better fuck me whenever I want. Come come get your shoes, buddy. Come get your shoes. I challenge nothing. Here, let me tie them. Fucking Robert Pat, fake Robert Pattinson. That's funny. He said a lot, right? But I challenged the whole idea of dating even before that. Because if I'm going to go on a date with you, oh, it's serious. because... Like no, I'm serious. Like, it's a good, because good conversation. I, I want to go do something, and I want you to come also. Yeah. Yes, but if we're at a, like a, a Super Bowl party or anything like that, you're not going. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah, I would never do that. Are you That's out of your fucking, fucking brain? Yeah. Are you yeah. out of your brain? You're yeah, not coming dude. with me there. Everything's already paid for, but bitch, you're not going. 100%. Yeah. It's going to be great. All right, good, but yeah. you're not going. Yeah. I want to buy with different people. Yeah, exactly. Get like <laughs> UFC card this Saturday. <laughs> Hung out with it's the boys the whole fight. time. Kathleen was there for the last fight. Picked me up and drove me home. Boom. Perfect. Perfect date. Didn't you Dating? have fun last night? She's the what? one, Bailey. Day. A hundred percent. She's the Dating one. Dating in itself is fucking stupid, and here's I why. I agreed. Everybody feels like you have to check off this box in your relationship of what our first date was. And it's got to look like a first date and feel like a first date so we can be cool with each other. But you tell me how cool we're going to be with each other if we go eat and then go to the fucking movies or skate rink or some boring ass fucking (laughs) vanilla ass date. bro. People do that shit. It's a real thing. Yes. It's a real thing. Like right now. Oh, yeah. They do it everywhere. It's a real thing. I promise. Like. Kid shit and people taking people on dates to do kid shit is very popular now the compared to what it used to be. But I took, any, I took Allison to, to a fucking yeah. comedy club on our first date. It See, was I awesome. love that. Like, because that's what you wanted to go do because you knew it was going to be fun. Yes. Like, you and know, we could talk for an hour before the comics came on. But what if she and, laughed like a fucking weirdo? What if she was like, ah! perfect? I'd have been like, peace. I like go in the store and give me a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, now or later, you're gonna know at some point. I called you an Uber. It should be there. But your your goals yeah. on the first date should be like we're gonna go do something fun and see if we have see if we have the same type Chemistry, of fun. Yeah. Not like, well, it looks like I need to spend three hours on the ledger with this lady <laughs> to see if fucking we're 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 compatible or not. Like that's fucking so weird. weird Who told you you could get an appetizer, bitch? <laughs> be like, hey. <laughs> Like a, a girl's trying to talk to you. God damn! Right? Order off the left side of the no, menu. No, it's like a girl. I don't even care about paying. But if a girl is like, "Hey, you're you're like a, I'm stepping out on Friday. I'm going to do this, or maybe I have early plans on Saturday. I'm going to do something early as fuck." Like, and you you're like, "Hey, do you want to go on a date to fucking Texas Roadhouse tonight?" No, I don't fucking want to do that. That's fucking stupid. Even so if I it is a date, and, yes. I don't. This motherfucker. We can do everything we're, over Facetime. We're we watching, can talk over Facetime before 100%. I go. Send. We're we're yeah. watching a fight at my house. Okay, this motherfucker said some like, gang shit said, right here. It was awesome, but I was like, I just started dying laughing because I would I would never say this because I wouldn't want to hurt somebody, anybody's feelings that bad that I was on a date with or with. And he goes, and Allison goes, are you going to be at the, he had this girl with him. He goes, are you going to be at the Christmas party? It's so much fun. The, our company. This story. Uh, and, and Bailey goes, was like, Bailey's like, no, she won't be there. <laughs> yeah. She will not be and there. she goes, yeah. And he goes, no, you're not going to be there. Yeah. She, yeah. And she was not there. No, she wasn't. She wasn't there. Dude. <sighs> like, even during that. Hey, fight, we might have some listeners that haven't heard the story, Bree. Even, <laughs> even during that fight, that same fight. We've gotten six more. This, <laughs> this girl that I was with. Went upstairs and watched a movie with Allison while we were downstairs watching the fucking fight that we were all watching. Well, True. Yeah. Like, I even went out Saturday with Kathleen, and one of her friends was like, Why is Kathleen up there at the front of the bar hanging out with all of her friends? And you're in the back of the bar playing cornhole and ping pong and shit with all your friends. Right. I was like, Because I think that's probably what both of and us came healthy. here to do. Yeah. Like, both of us came here to do that. He's we like, want to be around each you other. You don't think it's a little disrespectful that you guys aren't hanging out with each no. other no. the whole time at the bar? And I was like, respectfully, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Kathleen is doing exactly what Kathleen wants to do, and I'm doing exactly what I want to do, and we're going to meet Some up and fucking like talk that, about though. it later. Yeah. Some it's, people are like that. It seems that. like it's most people weird. are like that. But that's what I like. I don't Honestly. want somebody up my ass the entire fucking time. Like, and then if I'm talking to other people, like, I don't want them like lingering right behind me. Like, Mm-mm. then I'm like, this is blah blah blah. This is blah blah blah. Like. Go do your own shit. Have your own friends. Yeah, That's bro. what I need in my next relationship. So a guy that has his own fucking friends and hobbies. There you 100%. go. Yeah, like, because if I'm like, I'm going out with my girls, and he's like, so what am I supposed to do? I'm like, <laughs> not my goddamn problem. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do what dudes do. Figure you it out. But I don't have any hobbies. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know what to do. What the fuck? That guy, you definitely got to dump. I don't say people. Talk but if my wife was like, hey, I'm going over here. I'd be like, all right, cool. She goes, what are you going to do? I was like, whatever the fuck I want to do. But have you seen that like TikTok yeah. where it's like yeah, the Kevin Jack Hart? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, it's like the Kevin Hart like back the voice. voice. But Jacqueline yes. I love her with her and her husband. Yes, yes. That was funny. And she's like, going out with the girls. And the guy's like, all right. And then she's like, I mean, we're probably going to get drunk and like have fun. And he's like, cool. And then she's like, I mean, we're going to get really drunk. And like, I look like hot. Like, da da da. And they're like, sweet. You have a. And then he's like, and then she's like, well, what are you going to. And then it like vice versa. The girl's like sitting on the couch in her pajamas. She's like, where are you going? He's like, out with the boys. What are y'all doing? I don't know. Going to go eat. Where are y'all going to eat? I don't fucking know. Well, what? No, he's. Are y'all gonna go eat? He goes, I don't know. I hope so. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah, <I'm fucking> yeah. <laughs> you and uh, what you time and, are you gonna you, be home? You and I don't Joey, know, uh, you and Joey have uh, some people in common that I didn't that we didn't know we heard today. We did. So Hell. so he goes, hey, there's these there's this married couple that's on OnlyFans, and we and me and Bailey were like, dude, Bree was talking about that the other day. Were you not talking about that? I mean, they're not married, but but they're a couple. Yeah, yeah. He was talking about it has to be the same people. It's not. How do you know? Because I know it's not. There's no way that there's two people that live that there's close a together doing There's a bunch of people that like do OnlyFans, make money. And All right. Do so weird we're shit. gonna do a bet. I believe it's the same person. I believe that it's not. What do you want to bet? Fifty dollars. No, not money. Yeah, How do you always whack. say no? Because but, under grand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stack of cash. <laughs> now you have to dress like a. Uh, um, Spider Man on the podcast if, if you lose. Okay. Deal. All right. All right. What's Jay got to do? If no, lose? no, it's done. She said deal. It's over. It's still, it's still Okay, so what are you going to do when you You got to make Jay wear a wrestling singlet for a whole podcast. No. <laughs> Why not? No bet. You have That's to wear a helmet. Bet. You have to buy it. You have to wear a helmet. I'll wear a Jay's helmet. Got, she's got to buy a Spider-Man suit. No, she can rent it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lose, so it's fine. Wear a helmet. Wear one of your daughter's helmets. All right. After the show, Bicycle. you've got to tell her the people's names. Okay. And then I'll call Joey. Find out and the people's say, names. Are these the people? No, okay. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say what's what's the people's names, and then I'll I'll tell her. Okay. I'll bet you separately okay. that Joey don't tell you. Huh? I'll bet you separately that Joey won't tell you. I think he'll tell me. You think? Yeah, yeah. I'll bet you separately. I mean, I'll bet you because I'm going to say, hey, we're we got a bet going. Yeah. And he's, oh, so he's, you're going to say, oh, well, I've got a bet going. I have I've got a bet going names. when we think this is the same person, and he'll tell he'll tell me the names. Oh, yeah, maybe. All I need is the first names. Yeah, maybe. That's all I need is the two first names. And you that, probably get that out of him. You're right. going to have to influence him about it. Hey, the, maybe we'll see you next time. Yeah. And Jay will be wearing a helmet. Yeah, for sure. Bye. That's a sandwich. All of the nuts, all of the guac, all of the pesos, all of the pollo, all of the nuts, all of the guac, all of the pesos, all of the pollo, all of the money, all of the money, all of the money, all of the money, all of the money. All of the money.